Three people were working on a rail car that exploded yesterday, killing two. They are still trying to figure out what set off the blast. Investigators hope today's autopsy will reveal more details about the chemicals they were using and one man's identity. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. Today we're learning more about Dallas Falk, one of the men who died. We have team coverage of the investigation and the search to learn more about the victims. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Emily Zink joins us live. Emily? Well, Jen, Dallas's friends tell me he was the person everyone wanted to be around. His girlfriend tells me he's irreplaceable. I know that he always said to me that this, this place, they're, you know, violating so many safety codes. Shelly Briggs says her boyfriend Dallas warned her about the dangers of his job, but she never thought that when she said goodbye to him on Tuesday morning that he wouldn't be coming home. I didn't imagine that that would ever be the last time. Shelly says Dallas lived life to the fullest. He ended up being like the biggest hearted person I've ever met in my entire life. He loved to laugh and loved music. The evening before his death, he got to see one of his favorite bands in concert. Very into music, yeah. and that's one of the things that he and I bonded. Like, we were both from the South, you know, he, he was always bragging about it, too. Dallas was originally from Florida and had big plans of moving back to the Sunshine State. Then we were waiting for him to get back. He was getting homesick up there and he wanted to come home. Dallas's friends say they are shocked by his tragic death, but they'll never forget the person he was. He had the truest heart. He was the nicest guy you would ever meet. I mean, he'd give you the shirt off his back. He'd give you his last dollar. Dallas's friends tell me they're planning a memorial canoeing trip in his honor at a river they always used to hang out on in Florida. Reporting live in South Omaha, Emily Zink, KMTV Action 3 News.